I asked over 1,000 producers to make the best drop they can using only my sound. Oh, yo. Oh, dude. And three winners will receive over $3,000 worth of producer gear. Considering the stakes are really high for this one, I'm gonna need some help from you guys in the comments. Because there are so many remixes done, I had to make two other videos reviewing them, and this is now the final one. So let's take a listen to the final submissions and let's pick our favorites. First one we got, Eclipsed by Eyesight. I love that snare that you have. It's so sick. It's like a little laser. Oh, dude. So huge. Um, what is going on right now? That's crazy. So sick. You managed to make this like really, really distorted, crazy bass sound very clean. The way you cut it in between uh, each end of like the bar or the beat. Love those little fill sections, the little uh. <laughs> it's really good, man. I wouldn't even know how to go about making that kind of bass. That's a really, really unique bass that I don't think I've ever heard before. Like what, what does this sound? Uh. So sick. Really, really love uh, this specific submission. I really love this epic bass trap feel. It's like chill, but also in your face and crazy at the same time. I love the unique um, innovative sounds you were doing with the, the snare too. I really like it when people get like really diverse and try to just uh, create new sounds that haven't been um, done before, you know? So really good job. Okay, this next one, we got Undone. We started off pretty heavy, but to clarify, it's the most creative, so it can be pretty much any genre. Yeah. I love how this is drill. That's sick. So big man, that bass line was massive. The flow you have, the little drill elements too. Dude, this was so creative. This is like UK drill, trap, bass, step. What do you call this? Nice. This is literally if Skrillex entered the contest, dude. This is so epic, man. Shout out Undone. Oh my God, give me a follow, bro. Okay, so far we got some epic heavy bass trap with some UK drill bass. Uh, let's see what else we got now. Drum and bass. Oh snap. This one is by Radial. Love this vibe, love the vocals. This like liquid DMV, really mellow vibe. It's crazy how something so simple can be so good, dude. Oh my god, I love it. I love the drums too, were super nice as well, man. Okay, this next one is by Duranium. Ooh. Where you going when you're all alone? Do you think about me? Nice. 
eyes. But where you going now, yeah? But where you going now, yeah? Dude, this is the vibe, man. But where you going? Oh, nice. I love this melody. I'm obsessed with like trance synthwave type melodies. Oh, nice. How we had freaking trap drum and bass UK drill. Now we have some techno, dude. This is legit. Sounds so big, man. Definitely hear this in uh, Bergen. Is that how you pronounce it? Bergen? I can see this guy in the front door checking in tickets while this song is playing in the background. So sick, man. I love it. This next one is by Lai. First time making this genre, but vocals gave me the speed housey vibe, so I went with it. Sick. Right, so speed house, then let's go. Oh, nice. Such a vibe, man. Dude, I love this. I can definitely put this in my car ride playlist, man. I love this. Also perfect running music. So sick, man. Oh, that's a nice part. Love these stutter vocals. Amazing job, Lai. Honestly, it's such a great vibe. This was like one of the most pleasant ones uh, I have heard so far. I'm honestly still really, really shocked that there's literally like every single genre that could ever be made of in this contest, dude. So sick. It's actually making it really hard to uh, pick the winner as well, but I love it. I feel like this is a great way to also pick based off creativity and just, um, yeah, just creative uses of the samples um, rather than just like the most heaviest or loudest song, you know? So really great job, Lai. Okay, this next one is by Valak. Let's see what you got, dude. What genre is this gonna be? Oh! Oh, sick, dude. Nice. So sick. It's like this like old school but revamped flume style. I love it. Love that. The style, I used to absolutely love it, man. This kind of like flume trap. Um, it's like a mixture of like flume, San Holo. Who else did the style where they would like remix all these songs and make it this like big epic future bass chord type of thing? I love it. Let's see the second drop. Oh. Whoa, dude, what a switch up. Oh, man. Whoa, dude, that second drop is massive, man. This part's crazy right here. Massive, Valak. Dude, amazing job, dude. Wow, guys, I am so impressed of how many amazing drops you guys made in almost every single genre. It made me realize of the possibilities with the full production suite of Astral. All these were made with only a small portion of Astral, like less than 5% of the samples. So imagine what the full collection could do. It's honestly one of my most proud production suites I've ever made because I've realized that it's really versatile and making just really amazing songs in all styles. If you want to pick up a license to Astro, it's really selling quick. So check the link in the description for availability. Let me know what you think. All right, guys, here is where I need your help. I'm going to play some of my favorites, some of the contenders for the contest winner. And I need you to let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. Let's go. Let's do this. Contest winner number one. And this is in no particular order. Ari. Just because this drop was so heavy and so 
Just well done. I loved it. So sick, man. I think the intro was also really sick as well. This part was so well done. Yeah, so kind of the song as a whole uh, was just well done from front to back. I felt like the drop was super creative and unique. Um, really utilized the vocal samples and the basses very, very well. And it just sounded very big to me. Very clean, well mixed, you know. I can tell there was a lot of time spent into this, a lot of love poured into this. So that's why I think it's one of my favorites as well. Okay, favorite number two. Again, no particular order. True Love by Howland. Um, I like this one because his creative use of creating vocals singing over it and just creating this kind of like really really nice vibe the drop was really sick too Love his use uh, uses of synths and making it very very unique. It sounds like a full song, so I, I really like that one. Favorite number three, Ghost Visuals by Lion Blood. Honestly, this one was an, an incredible vibe. I loved this like virtual like synthwave feel. Love this. Yeah, the whole song was very atmospheric. Um, I really, really love uh, the way Lion Blood just made it. This like really like, um, just made this kind of virtual, again, like virtual trans synth wave world in it. Next favorite is Back To You by Shoku. He did an incredible drum and bass song with the pack and um, also added some extra vocals within himself. Um, and, and it says like Astro, I, I just really love the whole melodic feeling. Everything was such a, such a great, Vibe heavy as well, very energetic. Such a nice vibe, and the second drop was so nice too. So sick. Bass line is so nice. I love the way he has these like LFO on the synths. So nice. I really love this one, dude. Amazing job. Next favorite is by Miaoi. I know it's it's a little silly, but I really love the fun vibe. I love the pixely uh, jumping up vibe. So nice, man. And the melody as well. Fun vibe. Um, I can see myself listening to this for fun too. I really love this Miaoi. Even this, the second drop where it mixes in a little bit of dubstep is nice too. Love it, man. All these are so sick. By the way, guys, make sure you give these guys a follow. I'll put their links in the description as well. I really want to build this community to be this like supportive. Um, uplifting thing uh, where we can all learn from each other and grow with each other. Definitely let us know in the comments which one is your favorite. Next favorite was by Uber Loud. Really, really epic dubstep trap vibe. So dope. Wow, dude. So huge. It's like stomping. That one was so dope. Another favorite was by Hero for his really epic, big future dubstep feel. I really, really love this uh, big melodic bass vibe with the big chords mixed with dubstep. Really great vibe. And that second drop was really sick too. Switch it up now. Really diverse song. I love uh, the mixture of everything. Lastly, another favorite was by Bay2. This drum and bass vibe was really big and epic. I love it so much. The mixture 
their basses and the big chords, and then the piano, the little symphony at the end. Yeah, this song was so epic, dude. So many choices, so many decisions, dude. This is why I need your guys' help. Last one, this is definitely uh, one of my top favorites, and this was submitted, but the only thing was, is it wasn't mentioned in the description or it wasn't posted that it was part of the Astro Contest, so I was a little bit unsure if it was. However, I do hear the samples in it, but this is definitely one of my top favorites right here. I love this. Original vocals from Nice Sasha as well, so it's incre it's really an incredible song. That one was such a nice one, dude. Okay, guys, now here is where I need your help. Please let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. I'll be making a post of the runner-ups as well. So let me know in the comments on Instagram. I'll be announcing the winners on Instagram as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this community. Again, you can get Astro before it sells out in the description below. If it does, stay tuned for the next drop, and I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you like and subscribe as well, guys. All right, peace out.